So when we're talking about deer hunting with a shotgun, you are going to be using a slug. And a slug is essentially a, a bullet for a shotgun. These, these slugs are a, a kind of solid, single projectile bullet um, that, that while it doesn't have the, the spread of shot, um, it's going to strike the target with greater force and delivering, delivering deeper um, and larger wound channels, which is going to essentially lead to a more ethical um, harvest. Slugs are, are generally used for medium-sized game, um, especially for, for white-tailed deer and kind of similar-sized game. And there's essentially two main types of slugs on the market. You have what many people refer to as a rifled slug, and then you have some of these newer types of slugs, the Sabo rounds. Um, some people do call these Sabot. Um, and now the, these rounds are a, a little bit more expensive, but there's some distinct advantages between the Sabo um, slug versus the traditional um, kind of rifled slug. And, and it's important to understand the differences between the two, but more importantly, it, it's important to know when to use each. And a lot of that is going to be dictated by the specific firearm um, that, that you will be using um, to, to shoot this, this slug. So first we're going to discuss this, this uh, rifled slug. And these are what most people are familiar with. They've been on the market for a long time. And you can see it's essentially this big hunk of lead that's got these kind of angled grooves um, built into the, to the wall of these slugs. And now these, these slugs are designed to be used with a smooth bore shotgun. So if your shotgun barrel has um, internal rifling, um, do not use this, this type of, of slug. And we'll, we'll discuss why in just a few minutes. Um, but essentially, these kind of grooves and these ridges are designed so that they create friction between the slug and the inside of the barrel. And as that, that projectile continues to move through the barrel, that friction is going to start to cause this projectile to spin. Rifled slugs are designed to be used with a, a smooth bore. So if, if your shotgun barrel has rifling inside of the barrel already, um, this is the type of slug that you do not want to use. Um, while it's, it's unlikely to cause sort of catastrophic failure, um, it can certainly damage the, the rifling inside of the barrel. Um, it, it's darn near impossible for the rifling on the slug to match the internal rifling of the barrel. So over time, that is gonna create damage. In comparison to the rifled slug um, that we just discussed, you also have these these new um, Sabo slugs that are on the market and it, instead of simply loading a slug into the shotgun shell like you can see here with the rifled slug Sabot slugs or Sabo slugs are essentially fitted inside this kind of small plastic cylinder um, that, that surrounds the projectile you can sort of view it uh, kind of like the, the wad in a traditional shotgun shell now when this this projectile is fired from a, a shotgun the, the rifling in the barrel essentially causes the plastic container um, to begin to, to spin. Now when the slug leaves the muzzle, um, the, this plastic sleeve will, will slow down and kind of detach itself from the, the main projectile and the main projectile will continue moving forward. And again, it's gonna continue that, that spinning rotation um, that, that was essentially imparted on, on the slug by, um, by the barrel. And one of the, the big differences that you can probably see right away between these two types of slugs is the type of, of metal. So rifled slugs are typically made out of a softer metal, um, in this case lead. And these Sabo slugs are, can, can essentially be made out of uh, many different types of, of, of metal. They can be copper or some of these more fancy alloys. And a lot of that is due to this plastic casing. Because as this projectile is moving inside that barrel, the actual bullet itself, the actual slug itself, never touches the rifling. It is only this plastic casing that's going to touch the rifling. And so that, that, that can allow manufacturers and, and, and things to, to play around and, and kind of use some of these more specialized and harder metals um, that can aid in, in increased penetration and a lot of these different things. So the, the easiest way to, to kind of summarize this is if you have a, a shotgun that has essentially a smooth bore, um, there's no rifling inside of that barrel, you want to focus on a, a slug that has rifling kind of built into that slug. So you will use a rifled slug. If you have a barrel that does have rifling, um, you want to try one of these Sabo rounds. These are again designed for those barrels with rifling. Um, and now you can use a, a Sabo slug out of a, a smooth bore shotgun. 
Um, but it, it's typically viewed by a lot of people as kind of a, a waste of money. Um, it, it, you will get less than optimal performance um, th than you would with, with a rifled slug out of a smoothbore. So again, these could be used out of a smoothbore, but it's recommended that you use one of these rifled slugs um, that has the rifling already um, built into to that projectile.